Good morning. I'm Susan Higginbotham, and I have the honor of working as the Executive Director of the Pennsylvania Coalition Against Domestic Violence. Uh, first and foremost, I want to thank everybody who's seated here, and especially all the folks standing behind me. A uh, big round of applause for these folks. And I will share a few uh, remarks in closing, but first I'd like to welcome Senator Tom Killian, who represents the 9th District, Chester and Delaware Counties. He has championed our domestic violence homicide prevention um, as the prime sponsor of Senate Bill 501. Please give a warm welcome to Senator Killian. Thank you very much. And I want to thank all the, all the folks that are here today taking the time out of your busy schedules to come up here and help us pass some common sense legislation both in the areas of sex abortion and the areas of domestic violence to make Pennsylvania and our Commonwealth safer. I'll be talk briefly about my bill. First, I want to thank the folks behind me and folks in front of me that have advocated so hard for Senate Bill 501 and Marguerite Quinn has the companion bill in the State House. This bill is much needed and should have been done a long time ago. Currently in Pennsylvania, if you have a final protection from abuse order, final protection from abuse order, meaning you've been in front of a judge and the judge says there is a problem here, in only 14% of the cases are the guns confiscated. We've had too many incidents where the, per where the perpetrator the, the, was allowed to give their weapons to their brother, their cousin, their neighbor. They went and got them back and committed homicide. We have to stop that. Senate Bill 501 is common sense. It simply says if there's a final PFA issue, you have 24 hours to relinquish your weapons, and they must go into safekeeping, law enforcement, registered gun dealer, or your attorney. That way, the victim will know they can sleep at night and not have to worry about their abuser going and taking that gun back and coming and hurting them or their family. We had an incident here in Pennsylvania where, 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 a, victim, uh, where a victim was shot her two-year-old son was killed in, while, while she watched from a, from a perpetrator who went and got the gun back from a relative. This bill is so much common sense that it passed out of that Senate unanimously, both in the committee level and in final panel. It, it now sits in the Senate Judiciary Committee, which is the next to last step. If you can get out of there, blow through appropriations, get it on the House floor, we can have it on the governor's desk, have it signed into law so victims can sleep at night or not worry about losing their lives. Thank you.